James! Thank you, sir. Trash it. You know what? Burn it. I look so beautiful today, and I feel luck will smile on me. Huh? I mean, it's a crime to look this beautiful and be unlucky, you know? Yep. And, uh, uh, and I'm sure I'm going to smash this Madam, fake life. Time. Can you excuse me, please? Uncle, I beg, take it easy. I, I, what is it? You see, I'm making video. You just came. We know it's your car now. But don't embarrass me like that. You go and take it somewhere. I was just leaning on the car. Did I steal it? And who gave you permission to lean on my car? Permission. Permission, Uncle. Permi because of waiting, ordinary Venza. Uncle, calm down. It's your mate that driving Benz. Better one, G Wagon. You're here talking, shouting because of me. I beg you, carry this thing and shift. Don't even spoil my day. Let me tell you. I want to come and give you one. Carry it. See. Don't even say the Venza and I know now. You're here, man. Please. Now, who will kill you? Who will kill you? See the car, say. Rubbish man. Guys, <laughs> nothing can spoil my day. See, I'm looking too fine. Huh? And this interview, whether good or bad, we will smash it. We're gonna smash it. Yep. All right, people. Very impressive CV. We'll be in touch. Thank you, sir. Person talk now, they will say the person you want to talk. Ah, if I don't say this, my name be young. I said, I for just shut up my mouth. Yeah, I for just shut up my mouth now. Ah, see, we can buy mouth the person for now. But I want to know, say, like, my name be young, I like this. My face put it, face, I don't fire. You know, why don't they find the thing? Kai, God. Safe respect, see, safe respect and mouth control. I enjoy me for this life. I don't tire. I want to go out like this now. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Voila. So, like this, man, I thought they lose this job. The man said, if for just come now, just carry a card, go. Eh? So just carry in car, go. Don't come and tell me fake life, fake life. I do fake life. Hey, even at that, even at that. I have to just control myself based on say I get something. I just respect my mouth. Eh? You can understand the wrong mouth, wrong mouth. Now see where I don't run and enter. Hey. 
I need you. Okay, should I go break this man? Ah, God. See, nobody should just give me any unnecessary call right now because I won't even find it for you. See, see. Hello? Ma, you say? Ma, you say congratulations? Like I got the job? I believe the secretary has briefed you on everything you need to know about your position. Yes, sir. Um, she... Here's the file containing the proposal you need to prepare for the commercial. I want it as fast as possible and I want something impressive. It's always easier to prepare documents. Convince me. Why should I choose this particular diaper over others? Hello, sir. Are you looking for a quality baby diapers for your babies? I've got good news for you. Remy Dipes, a subsidiary of Remy Babies World, is a company that specializes in the production, marketing, and distribution of quality yet affordable baby diapers. And these diapers was made with love for babies and children. I'm here to get you and other parents acquainted with this product that was made with the interest of your babies at heart. And also to let you know that as little as 9,999 Naira, you can get 50 comfortable, breathable, ultra soft and absorbent baby diapers, laced with healthy essential oils to prevent skin irritation. And the best part is this, our product has the 100% leak protection, making it the first baby diapers to achieve this feat. We put all this together because your baby's comfort is paramount to us at Remy's Baby's Ward, and I believe the trial will convince you. Impressive. We highlighted the major features of the product. That's a good one. I believe customers will key into it. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, I have a suggestion. Which is? Um, I don't know. I want to see if it's possible for us to incorporate incentives, like buy three and get one free. Um, this is to boost um, willingness to 
try the product. I believe in this process because Nigerians love a wolf and being that the product is also a very good product, that will actually convince people to try it. You and the team can go ahead. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jess? Mm -hmm. What are we celebrating? Well, we are celebrating the best brother in the world. A man that means so much to me. Look, I know that this period has been rough and unpleasant for you. But I want you to know that there's an angel for you. Okay? God has designed someone worthy of you. I need you to ease the stress, be happy, because something great is in store for you. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know how to make me happy. Well, that's what family's for. That's it. So don't say anything, just eat. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know how to make me happy. And thank you. Hello? Uh, hello, hello, Jeremy. It's me, Samantha. Samantha? What is your problem? Please, I, I... Huh? I've blocked you on what? Seven different lines and you're still calling me? What exactly is the color of your problem? Babe, I'm so sorry for what happened. I wish you can give me a... Give me a chance. Let me just... Give you a chance? To do what? To steal my life savings? You know, the most annoying thing about your incessant calls is the fact that you, you, you have no atom of remorse or regret. Even after all the evidence, you're still claiming that, oh, I don't know how it happened. Is that how heartless you are? And why are you just coming to work by this time? I'm really sorry, sir. There was traffic, but I had to drink a long distance. I wouldn't want something like this to happen again. This is a serious business. There's no room for incompetence or excuses. You're supposed to go for market survey. How do you want to do it at this time? Sir, the team and I will try our best. I'm sorry, I want to be. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry. I wish I had good news for you, but I don't. I'm sorry, but my brother has moved on already. He... He destroyed everything that reminds him of you. Your pictures together, your clothes, like everything you got him, he trashed them all. Every single thing that reminds him of you. Look, Samantha, if you'd listen to me, I'd say you just forget about him and move on. He's not coming back, he has moved on. Sam, I. I. I'm so sorry. I, some other, I really tried. <laughs> wow. I can't believe what 
what I'm looking at. This is mind blowing. I mean, I've hired a few marketing heads, but no one has been able to bring in such massive result on a new product in one day. This is unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, first, I'll say thank you for giving me wings to fly. And yes, I know I put in a lot of work into this, but I'm as surprised as you are. But most importantly, I'm grateful I didn't disappoint you. Just keep it up. Okay? Thank you. Keep it up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I heard people are still coming. Yes, um, some people want to place orders while the others want to come to the company to see if they can be one of our distributors. Interesting. <laughs> well, we're open for all of that. <laughs> all right, Thank you again, Miss Fable. You. you can return to your office. Thank you. <laughs> I wish I was out there, man. I need a break. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, Joe, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, I didn't know you're still around. Yes, I just tell you to come on soon. I'm leaving, sir. Okay, cool. Let me drop you off. Ah, uh, that's a thoughtful of you, sir, but I beg to decline. Why? It's not a big deal. Besides, you're now my best staff. Um, thank you so much, sir, for the compliment, but I wouldn't want it to continue. I mean, such compliment brews hatred and jealousy among other workers. No, it can only make them put in more effort. Plus, you mentioned that you live very far away from here and we all know how traffic can be sometimes. So, please allow me to drop you off so I can ease off the stress. Sir, I wouldn't want to stress you. I mean, we're not even going to say Fable, much. I'm fine, thank you. You're not stressing me. Can we go? All right, let's go. Hi Sandra, how are you doing? Hello sir, I'm good. I believe you, you have seen the massive turn of the same spaces. They came on board as a result of running short of the clothes. Really? Yes sir, I called to inform you on time so that you can place on the air as people are having interest in the clothes now. Okay, thank you Sandra. I'll call them first thing in the morning. Alright, good night sir. Good night. Oh! <laughs> A smile. I like that. So still, what's up? Well, business is booming. Doing better than I expected. That's a good reason to smile. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we recently recruited to fill the position of a marketing manager. And she's doing a great job. Okay. Well, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I just came to say goodnight. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. My G. <laughs> My G. Get out of here. <laughs> Good night. All right, sweet dreams. <sighs> so you sent for me. Hi, Fable. Yes, please. Sit. Favor. 
your contribution and efforts towards the growth and success of this company is invaluable. And this is a token of my appreciation. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate. But I'm only doing my job. It's okay. I just like to encourage my staff. Um, sir, though I'm the head of marketing department, I didn't do this job alone. So I would appreciate if we we'll share this among everyone in the marketing department that helped in getting this job done. can return to your office. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey, brother. <laughs> How's it going? Hugly. Mm, welcome. Thank you. How was your day? Good. Uh, How was work? Hectic. Mm. usual. Aww. Yep. Belle. But recently you've been coming home very late. I hope you're not overworking yourself. <sighs> yeah, you're right about the stress. Mm -hmm. The thing is, one of my best staff doesn't live very close to the office. So I promised to always drop her off before coming home. So. Okay. <clears throat> I'm all yes. Give me gist. What gist? I know there's plenty gist. Just I just me. told you the new lady in charge of marketing department. Hmm. So you're telling me that it's just dropping off your dream. Nothing extraordinary. Mm. Eh? You know you can tell me anything. Oh my goodness, you're so silly. You are so <laughs> tell me me. Me. You're so silly. I said I'm just helping one of my staff, someone that is very productive for that matter. Mm. Are you sure? Okay, well, if you say so. Because as for me, when <sighs> I look at you, all I see is love. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Oh, baby. All I'm saying is... Jimmy, Jimmy, repeat after me. I'm very silly. Repeat it. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm silly. Wait, wait, Joe, what did you cook? Um, well, I'm still in the kitchen. Mm. Mm, so don't stress me, okay? Wow. You go and shower. No. I'm going to check my food. We're going together. To do what? Let's go. Don't even try it, though. Let me see what you're cooking. Ah... <laughs> uh. You know, the time and energy you put into your work is amazing. You should rest so you don't break down. Yes, sir. I cannot break down. I longed for a job like this where I will have to showcase and put my first class in marketing to work. <laughs> right. So people like us that didn't graduate with the first class, we should go and faint somewhere, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Favor? I'd like to take you out for lunch by weekend. I hope you don't mind. I'll, I'll think about it and get back to you. Okay. I'll be waiting.
want is by 2 p.m. tomorrow. And I am sure this will fit perfectly. Thank you. You're welcome. This... Sorry. How did you know I wanted this dress? Like mine. No. Seriously, how did you know? I was... I was on Instagram last night and... I saw your comment on your page. So... I decided to buy the dress for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. But I haven't even agreed to go on much dates. No. That's why I'm using the boss advantage. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. First, I love this dress so much and about the most date. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you um, to the end tomorrow. Thank you. And I can't wait to see you in the dress. <laughs> Thank you so much. My ex. Your ex? Oh. Okay, um, thank you so much. I mean, I really enjoyed myself today. Um, I almost forgot what it feels like <laughs> to have fun. <laughs> but you were doing initial background. Uh, I was just trying to be professional and to be serious with my work. Oh. Mm. Well, I like to stay in the house. That's uh, I'm not uh, I'm not an outgoing type. Right. All right. Well, thank you. No, thank you for honoring my invitation. Okay. We, we should do this again. Again? Yeah. Um. All right. So I have to go. Bye. Yeah. Okay. goodness you are beautiful you. please please have a seat thank you it's such a pleasure to meet you i've heard so much about you <laughs> jess can you please rest okay but before i rest what do i offer you darling <laughs> look i know you have a big heart but she is my guest. So I'll take care of it. Thank you very much. Fine. I'll just let you two be. Thank you. Welcome. 
I am sorry about all of that. Yeah, that's okay. Have I told you that you're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen? Thank you. Look, I know you're probably wondering why I'm doing all of this. The truth is, I'm in love with you. Okay, I, you're a very smart, bold, and beautiful lady. And I can absolutely picture the two of us together. So, favor, will you be my girl? Yes. That's a yes. It was easy. No, 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 no of course not. I, I, I was just processing. I think I'm the luckiest man alive. Off and late night, this is nothing. Oh, brother, I can't go market. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Hey, come. I need to show you something. Oh. Jessica! Something is happening to me. It feels like midnight sunshine, it seems like magic I cannot see it, but I can feel it strongly oh, 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 oh. Something Morning sunshine Wakey wakey Breakfast Breakfast I'm hearing you for real. Yes. You said a bone in passion and me. You know you're spoiling me, right? That is my intention. You said a bone in passion and me. It feels like Rambo of Tabasa. Why do you make me feel like I hate the jackpot? You know, I thought this was going to be hard. But you make it so easy. I love you. All right, eat, 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 eat. So what are you going to eat? Uh, no, I'm fine. I just want to watch you eat. So come on, come on, come on, babe. Eat first. No, babe, eat. No. Baby, I'm going to. How many you. slices? This is. I don't know, but six, everything is for you. Six slices of bread. Yes, for you. No, that's too much. No, you're going to spoil the romance. No, babe, that's too much. Maybe should I? No, yeah, eat. Take a bite. Take a bite. No. I'm not supposed to eat this. You're going to spoil. If you don't bite, it. then I'm not eating. Just mm. take a bite. Try. <laughs> so, sir, there is um, this result I want you to see. It's a survey. <laughs> hey, come on, stop. You're distracting me, okay? I, I didn't even hear anything. Why? Plus, I thought we decided to stop this sir thing. Listen, you're supposed to be professional. This is a business environment and there is no room for incompetence. 
<laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at you. I thought you said we should be professional, but you're setting your, your neck for you're adjusting your neck for a kiss. <laughs> I came to you you're like ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to be serious, right? Yeah, we have to be serious, yes, but uh, <clears throat> I understand it's a professional environment. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with adding a little romance to it, right? Really? Yes. What if someone walks in here and sees it? What are they going to do? I own the place. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, well, let's uh, get back to work. Um, so, what I was trying to say is, so, Listen. Okay, why don't you okay. come and explain to me? Oh, you even sat down. You sat down on your boss's lap. You could even, <laughs> how did, wait, wow. You couldn't even say, oh, sorry, sir. Let me not sit down. Wait, but, okay, wow. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Uh, this is a survey. Uh -huh. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah? Yep. I knew you'd like it. You know, those heels mm -hmm. you keep wearing will eventually be your legs one day. But you keep buying them for me. It's because you like them. Really? Yeah. Why would I be stressing you to wear all those heels? Babe, but you said I look beautiful and smart in them. Baby girl, you look beautiful in everything. <laughs> Smartness is already a signature plus. You have a nice sense of fashion. Mm. Yeah. And you're my fashion plug, you're the best. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, see, 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 we're going to get into the favorite part of this no, movie. No, no, Just pay attention. No, that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is looking at you. Looking at me? Yes. Babe, just pay attention. Deep into your eyes. Having those cute brown eyes staring right back at me. I uh, love you. <laughs> See, we <Be> bored. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Hey, 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 hey! I got love. You. What? I've never seen you all mushy and blushing, and you're so cute. Oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, seriously, Favor is an angel. Yeah. You know, sometimes when she visits, I don't feel like letting her go. Aww. <laughs> That's love. You're in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Right? Honestly. Anyway, she's a very nice person. And I like her too. You know I told you the right woman will come along. See? She's here now. And you're happy. <laughs> Anywho, food is ready. So, get your ass up. Let's go and eat. You know I'm in love now, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be serving me food. I look like favor. Huh? Brother, do I look like favor? Wow. Babe. Babe, you haven't had anything. What is this? Is this not you? How? Babe! So you're cheating on me? Babe! You brought your silly boyfriend into my house and you were having sex in my bedroom? Babe, my own room? Babe, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Do not fucking tell me to calm down. Babe. Why would you do this to me? I trusted you. I thought you were different. I thought you were special. And you do this to babe, me. This is not me. This is this is not me. Go inside. Pack your things and leave my house. Babe, you need to trust Get me. the hell out of my house! Oh, God. Babe, this cannot be me. This, that's not me. I don't want to repeat myself again. Baby, you need to trust me. Hmm. 
big one. What is it? Why is your face like this? What's happening? Why, why are you carrying your bag? Favor. What is happening? Crying. Why was Favor leaving with her bag? What happened? Talk to me now. Talk to me. Why do I? Why do I always have to go through this? Just calm down, okay? You will be fine, I promise. You don't deserve this. I'm sorry. Jeremy, Jeremy, no. I'm not going to let you do this to yourself. I won't. Look at you. Come on. You and I know that you are one of the best men in the world, okay? And crying over some unfaithful woman does... is actually stupid. Look, she should be the one crying. Yes, she should be the one feeling bad because she lost one of the best men in the world. Actually, the last best man in this world. So shake it off. You don't, you don't need to be doing this now, come on. Come, yeah? Come, don't worry. No, I got you. I got you. I'm coming. Aha! Look at what I got us. For you? See, I gave you a big cup because you're the big brother. Don't worry. Uh -uh. For you first, of course. <sighs> and this is mine. <laughs> Look, I want you to be happy. You deserve better than this. Trust me, okay? Now take. Here. Oh, sorry, sorry, baby. You're going to be fine, okay? I'll just sit here with you in silence, okay? Just know that I'm here. Drink up. Stop telling that I joke. Yes. Oh so, my god. So lame. <laughs> ah. I guess the saying is right. Mm. Women who stain your white. Eh? Women. Bro, I'm a woman. <laughs> what are you? Why you can't they, why you can't they join me? Okay. I don't understand. I did my own straight bullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. I guess um I guess it's safe to say that 
You're the only decent woman out there. What have I done? What have I done? Wait. I slept with you. My own sister. Oh. No, 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 no. This cannot be happening. This, this is not happening. What the hell were we thinking, Jess? I, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you cannot blame me. We were both drinking and, 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 and. And, and then this happened. I, 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 don't, I don't even know when this. I, I, oh my god! No, 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 oh no, god. no, no! This cannot be happening. This, this cannot be. No, no, no! no. <sighs> Believe me, I didn't do Get out of my office. I don't ever want to see you again. Get out of my office! I, I did not hear you come in. Here. Um, Jay, I'm sorry. But you know what happened between us is not my fault. We can't keep avoiding each other like this. I miss you. I miss being free around you. I, I, I miss hearing you laugh. It's overwhelming. I need time. I understand. Okay? But you and I are in this together. And together we'll get through it. Especially now that I'm pregnant. You. I'm trying to get over one thing and you're bringing more. I felt sick, okay? And then I googled my symptoms and, and Google said it was pregnancy, so I took a pregnancy test and yes, I'm carrying your child. How can you be pregnant? How? I mean, you're an adult. How can you allow yourself to get pregnant for me? 
It's bad enough that this happened and now you're talking about you're talking about this? Why didn't you take care of yourself? It happened in the heat of the moment, okay? Everything happened so fast. I was not expecting to get pregnant. Why are you blaming me? Okay. Okay. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Tomorrow, um, I'm, I'm going to take you to the doctor so we can abort it. No. I am not getting an abortion. What do you mean, what do you mean no? You want to keep the pregnancy? What, what do you want to tell everybody? Mom, dad, family, friends, that I got you pregnant? I are said you, I am you? not getting an abortion! Okay, what do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? Jay, remember you say you love me? Yes, nothing has changed. Then marry me. Are you insane? No, has the pregnancy affected your brain? You are my sister! I am not your sister! Jeremy, we are sorry for not telling you all this while, but that is the truth. It is indeed a long story. Trust me. Biological or not, we love you. You brought a lot of joy and happiness into our lives. And your coming paved the way for our miracle baby, Jessica. Look, I'm not telling you, I was out of a place of love. You see, son, your mother and I have been married for so many years without a child. We have tried. We have exploited. We have done everything. All proved abortive. And because of pressure from my family, the society, even her family, it all becomes so much. Fortunately for us, we met a girl who was on the verge of aborting her baby. We pleaded with her and eventually we convinced her. We didn't have a deal. We'll take care of her until she gives birth. Afterwards, we'll relocate her, pay her off handsomely, and she agreed. And your mom has to fake the baby born all through that period. And nine months after, you came as our bundle of joy. And everyone believed that you are truly our child. Jeremy, this story is the truth and nothing but the truth. <sighs> Jessica, I know telling you to abort the pregnancy is unwise, is unethical, unconventional and unmotherly. But you have to understand that our family name, integrity and pedigree is at stake here. You just have to terminate this pregnancy. The world sees you both as siblings. I mean, how, how, how do we explain this to them? Please, get rid of it. No, I will not terminate the pregnancy. I don't give a damn what anyone has to say. I will marry the father of my child. Okay. Okay. Oh, stop talking about getting married to your brother. You can keep the baby. We 
can take you somewhere. So we're far, abroad. Just say it. I will take care of the baby. I will. So you can go on with your normal life, okay? But just stop talking about marrying your brother. Stop saying that! Stop it! We are not related by blood. We can get married. Listen, Jeremy here says he loves me, okay? He has said it countless times. Jay, tell them. Tell them how much you love me. How you always say you love me. Jay. Can't you see they're trying to tear us apart? Say something! Jay. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them that you love me. Say it. Please. Why are you not saying anything? Wait. You, you don't love me. You are lying to me. You want to abandon me for another woman? Jay, I will never allow that to happen. As a matter of fact, if I cannot have you, then I swear I will make sure nobody does. Jessica! I've been calling, I've been texting, but you keep ignoring me. What do you want from me? What exactly do you want from me? Haven't you done enough? What other surprise do you have for me except bringing strangers to my house, sleeping with them, and recording your shameful act? Do, do that. No, think about it. I couldn't have possibly. Get out of my house. Don't touch me. What is wrong with this door? You heard him. Jessica. Get out. Jessica, you know I would never do something like that. <laughs> Listen, I don't ever want to see you anywhere around this compound or near Jeremy. Do you hear me? Jessica, you're a woman like me. Bitch, please. I am a better woman than you are. I will never cheat on a good man like Jeremy. You know what I would do instead? I would hold him close in my arms. I will mend his broken heart and love him with everything I have. Jessica, what are you talking about? I'm carrying Jeremy's child. You're pregnant for your brother. I am pregnant for the love of my life. And Jeremy is not my brother. You guys need to just stop saying that listen I am not as lenient as my brother my boyfriend so the next time I see you anywhere around this house or Jeremy you will not leave to tell the tale now get the fuck out Welcome. 
talking to you. Um, what is going on here, Jessica? Why did you let her in? I thought I asked you never to let her step Jessica, her foot into this compound again. Jessica, what is it? Please, please, please. I just need to talk to Jeremy, that's all. You know I didn't do this. I would never bring any man into Jeremy's house. I would never do it. Let me ask you a question. Is it that you don't value your worthless life? Or you're looking for someone to help you end your misery? I thought I asked you to steer clear. Jessica, please. Please. Listen, open that gate. And if you do not leave this house, these dogs will feed on you. Get out. Leave me. And James, whenever you allow this leech into this compound again, I will deal with you. Nonsense. What are you doing here? Well, let's say I'm not here to plead. I'm over that as well. I'm here to inform you that you've been wrong all along. I sent some stuff to your mail that would definitely interest you. What are you talking about? Well, if you check the mail I sent, I believe it would give you a better grasp of what has been going on in your life. Excuse me. and support you as my only sister and you decide to pay me back with so much wickedness? Why? Jay, you are not that easy to manipulate. I know you are not gullible. A girl that can bring a man into your house and have sex with him is capable of anything. Don't you know that? She's jealous, okay? She's just jealous that you're happy with someone that's not her. Can't you see? Open your eyes, jeez. Son, I agree with Jessica on this. Those, those pictures look doctored. Dad, she did it, okay? I, I can't believe that she's still denying it. I have voice recordings, calls, screenshots. She planned this whole thing. You know what? Deny this. Deny that you didn't make this call a few days ago. the video I made of you and Favor in the bed. It was so real that my brother did not even notice Favor is unconscious in that video. And you know what? She's no longer in the picture. So very soon, I will be taking my rightful place in his life. But my problem now is that I'm not pregnant. And that's the strongest thing I can use to hold him forever. Length matter. That will not be matter now. Just give me better money and I'll go give you belly sharp sharp. Are you serious? If I uncle, spend what they donate and then I'll follow show them place. That one has more thing now. Give me money, I'll go give you belly. I'll go run now. Hmm. How can I trust you on this? Now I'm for you. Something what they say, give hospitals then. Ha. I get plenty of children. No? I get for children like this now. I don't throw away. I'm not, I'm not okay with that plan. I'll get Jeremy to get me pregnant, don't worry. But thank you, yeah, thank you very much. Jay, the truth is, <coughs> the truth is, right, 
from childhood. You've always been so loving and protective of me. You're a big brother any girl can wish for. And growing up, I realized that you were not nice to me because I was your sister. But because you just have a large heart. And then I prayed for a boyfriend that's like my big brother. But I, somehow I always ended up with the opposite of you. And then I started to feel jealous. I wish I had what your girlfriends had. I... But you were my brother, so there was nothing I could do about it. Until... One day... Mom of life. Good afternoon, Ma. Whoa, Mom. What happened? Did, did someone provoke you? I'm not fine, Jessica. I believe you have come of age to know certain things. Something has been bothering me for a while now. Uh, um, um, what is it? What is it? I don't know what is wrong with your father. He has been giving so much preferential treatments to Jeremy, always treating him better than you. I wouldn't want a situation where he will start dragging ownership of everything with you. Should anything happen to your father? <coughs> Mom, I... I don't understand. Jeremy is my brother. So it's only normal that dad would give him all of his properties. I mean, dad is doing what every normal father would do. Jeremy is not your brother. Yes. I never wanted to let you find out this way. I know that mom passed that information because she wanted me to fight for what was rightfully mine. But then it made my dream come true. And so I started to plot on how to achieve my heart's desires. I became really desperate and started destroying all the relationships you were in including that girl that you dated for two years and almost married i'm sorry i just wanted you to notice me i just i just needed you to be my Abigail, have you seen what your insecurity has led you to? I warned you. I tried to control this, but you will not let me. Because you always felt that what you were doing was right. Now look at the seed of discord you have succeeded in sowing in this once peaceful family. Oh, no. Congratulations. Abigail is coming into our lives, paved a way for us, even against the doctor's practitioners. The least I expected. But at, at least you'll be fair to him. But no, you always utilize every opportunity to remind me that he was not a blood child. It doesn't really matter whether he's blood or not. Did the love and harmony we enjoyed in this family not good enough for you? Now look at what you have done. 
what you have succeeded to do. To two siblings who have lived all their life peacefully together. I'm so sorry. I was just doing what I thought every mother would do for her child. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I got carried away by my obsession and, and what I felt for him. I, I didn't mean to, to put you and mom through this. I'm sorry. Please. It is not me you should be talking to. I am not... You didn't break my heart. Neither did you frustrate my life. So it is not me you should be talking to. Jessica, don't go to him now. He needs some time to be alone. To cool off before anybody can approach him. But Jessica, let me tell you, I'm so disappointed in you. Huh? Jessica, at this point, what do you intend to do with the pregnancy? Keep it. Jessica. Keeping the baby will further complicate issues for Jeremy. There's so much on ground right now, and please, let's not add to it. Okay. You want her to go ahead and abort it, isn't it? You're unbelievable. Jeremy is not the father of my child. <laughs> sex but he didn't get me pregnant I got someone else to do it because I just wanted to pin it on him <sighs> mom am I messed up I messed up big time. I feel worse than the devil right now. The best thing for me to do is just to live his life completely so that he can heal from the betrayal. I just, I need to go very far away from him so that I can be able to forgive myself and also start a new life. Mom, 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 there is nothing you say that will make me change my mind. Do you understand? It's already made up. I have to go. I love you and I'm so sorry. I did not mean to put you through all this. I was, I was just acting out of desperation. But I understand now that you cannot force someone to love you. So I just, I just need to go so I can forgive myself. I'm so sorry. I, I know that he has forgiven me and would probably want me to stay back, but I just can't. I can't, Mom. I have to go, please. I'll, I'll call you later, okay?
I'm so sorry about everything. Babe, listen. You don't have to apologize. I mean, none of it was your fault. I know, but I should have trusted you. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't trust me after seeing those pictures. I'm just so glad I was able to figure it out and make the truth come to mind. How did you pull it off? First, I couldn't have brought a man into this house. It just didn't make sense to me. But I never suspected her. But after speaking to Samantha, I started suspecting Jessica. And then I carried out a private investigation. Oh, so sorry. I kept you waiting. You know, it's okay. It's fine. Right. Yeah. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Um, so you asked to see me? Yes. I was here the other time with Jeremy and he told me you're his ex. Okay. Um, it's, and I really don't know how this might sound, but I, I don't know if you can tell me what happened between you two. Listen, I know it's inappropriate to ask you this. Really? And you think I'm going to answer to those questions? Yes. I need help. I need your help. Please. How? Um, um, Jeremy and I were just started dating. And our relationship and love life was really good. Okay. It is everything that a perfect relationship should be. But out of nowhere, he showed me these pictures, sex pictures of me and oh, this. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Jeremy brought sex pictures yes. of you yes. and a guy. Yes, and a real guy. I don't, I don't know this guy. I've never met him. But this was a picture of myself and this guy in Jeremy's bed. Wow. And it was so confusing because I don't even know when this happened or how it happened, but it was me in the picture. And I tried to explain to him, but he wouldn't listen. So I'm just coming from his house where I went to plead with him. And I met Jessica also and Jessica, told me not to come to the house again and she also said that she's pregnant for Jeremy. Hold, hold on. Jessica pregnant for Jeremy? Yes. How? Jessica is Jeremy's sister. That's why this whole thing is confusing. These pictures I saw, yes, I'm the one in the picture but I never met this guy. I didn't know how this happened or when it happened. That's why I'm asking you, like, how did your relationship with him end? What a coincidence. How do you... God. This is the same thing that happened. It's me. Are you serious about this? <sighs> that was how I lost Jerry. It's shocking to hear that Jessica is pregnant for Jeremy. Wow. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. Like you already know, Jeremy is still one of the best guys out there. Our love life was so sweet that everyone ended. But I don't know what happened. I can't tell how it happened. But somehow, Someone transferred money from Jeremy's account into my own account twice without me even getting an alert to that. 
Charimi consulted some experts in it and they told him that the money was sitting in my account. He confirmed and the money was there. I was surprised, baby. I don't know how the, how the money got into my account. <sighs> but you know Jeremy already. He can take anything from a woman. But stealing and cheating? Never. So that was how he ended the relationship. I cried to Jessica, I begged her, please. Jessica, can you help me talk to Jeremy? She said she tried the best, but to no avail. So that was how I went to my way. I went to my way too. That was what happened. Just like that. I was able to obtain information from her phone using a cleaning app, which only needed my phone to get in contact with hers. So I recorded her calls, messages, and everything I needed to prove my innocence. You are indeed a genius. Well, let's see. I was fighting for the man I love. I just couldn't lose you for something I never did. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. So, where is she? Uh, she left. I don't know where exactly, but the last time I spoke with her, she said she's fine. Okay. So, did I tell you I missed you? Something is did happening you? to Every me. Every single second that passed. It feels like midnight sunshine. It seems like magic. I cannot see it, but I can feel it strongly. Oh. Something is happening to me It feels like midnight sunshine It seems like magic I cannot see it But I can feel it strongly oh, You set a bone in passion in me Feels like a rumble after the sun Butterflies in my heart You set up on impression on me Feels like rainbow of the sun Butterflies in my heart 